One neighborhood in Louisville determining whether or not it will be legal to sell alcohol. Voters in Precinct North 163, that's just north of Brownsboro Road and Kenilworth Road, are going to vote to determine the area's dry or wet status. Yeah, and this comes after many of you in Clifton filed complaints against a nearby bar. Ian Hardwick looked into some of those issues and sat down with the bar's owner. On November 7th, Voters in this Clifton voting precinct will decide if they want to live somewhere dry or wet. Voting to prohibit the sale of alcohol would make it dry, leaving Virtue Bar and Lounge owner Tony Frank without 40% of his sales. We've always tried to just be a better neighbor, extending our olive branch and say, hey, come in, talk to us, let's figure it out. Frank hasn't been able to figure it out with his neighbors. He's put up signs outside the bar encouraging neighborly behavior and still working to improve conditions surrounding his business. Upgrading our security and extra cleanup. There's several different things and a dump, extra dumpster pickup just to make sure we stay clean around our area. They're listening and that they're taking measures. In the neighbors' opinions, it's just, it's not enough. Some of the residents on Kenilworth Road right behind me shared concerns about the noise coming from Virtue Bar just down the road. They also say cars overflowing from the parking lot down here block them in up there. These images from resident cameras show some of the congestion. However, security is the largest concern. People who live near Virtue say it's those who gather outside and on the streets causing problems. They're still not taking care of people drinking in the parking lot and drinking in nearby, like in Bingham Park and up Kenilworth and up Coral, different streets adjacent to that facility. Regardless of November's outcome, Frank says his business will stay. We're going to put up a great fight. He may just have to do so without the sale of alcohol or the neighborhood's support. I define good neighbor as somebody that cares and listens. They take care of their property. They understand complaints. They manage the complaints. In Clifton, Ian Hardwick, WHAS 11, on your side. The Jefferson County Clerk's Office tells us 309 people were registered to vote in the last primary election in that precinct. A simple majority, that's 51%, will decide if alcohol sales are legal.